before we get to know about Malampati score, it's very important to know an overview of the oral cavity. This is a fossil pillar, uvula, soft palate and hard palate. This test or score gives us a visual assessment from the base of the tongue uh, and the distance to the roof of the mouth. And so it will help us to know about the amount of space in which there is to work. If there is less space, more work has to be done. And if, if there is abundant space, less work has to be done. Malampati score, it's an indirect way of assessing how difficult an intubation will be. A higher score of class 3 or 4, it's found to be having more difficult intubation and higher incidence of sleep apnea. The test is done by asking the patient to be in a sitting posture, opening the mouth and protruding the tongue as much as possible. The scoring is done without phonation. We mainly visualize for the four main structures. That is fossil pillar, uvula, soft palate and hard palate. You can remember it as push, P for pillar, U, uvula, a soft palate and hard palate. In each grade, one letter is deleted. That is, fossil pillar cannot be seen and you can see the uvula, soft palate as well as the hard palate. In class 3, you can see the soft palate as well as the hard palate. And in class 4, you can only see the hard palate. And that is how the Malampati score is classified or scored. So in short, the clinical significance is class 1 and 2 are associated with a relative easy intubation and class 3 and 4 it's found to be associated with increased difficulty in intubation.